But yes, since we're here, before we begin with the Sienyan summons, let's go ahead and, uh... Yeah, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and buy these skins. But yeah, let me have a look at them, actually, before we go ahead and purchase. Oh my god, yeah, she looks so, so pretty. I kind of wish there was a bit more stuff around her legs, and it's not just, like, bare. Because, I don't know, I, I just got so used to Gandhi's stockings that, uh, just seeing her bare legs is just kind of weird, you know? I still kind of do like this, uh, yeah, Gandhi skin here. Yeah, the, the blue, the blue and black looks honestly really, really good. Even though it's pretty much like the same thing they did with like Kaching's outfit. I like the tied up hair. Like, yeah, the bun. That's also super cute. <laughs> and I do like, yeah, is, yeah, isn't her bell's different, right? Yeah, her bell is like a ginormous in her default, like, outfit. And then, yeah, it's like kind of shrunken down with like a ring around it in uh, this version of her outfit. Alrighty, well, yeah, you know what we're about to do, folks. Ta -da! An outfit for a banquet. Hmm. Yes, this one will do. It will do, all right. All right. Uh, can I put it on right away? Uh, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm actually gonna, uh, yeah, gonna put it on right away. There we go. An outfit for a banquet. Yeah, this yeah, this outfit looks looks really, really pretty. If I'm gonna be honest. And yeah, she's not the only one who got a new outfit in uh in this update. Yep, we also got the Shenda's outfit, which I think is actually a bit better than Ganyu's. Yeah, her the, the hairstyle being different, like a, being a bit shorter, being braided up, is it's really really like cool looking. And also, yeah, the the black dress is also pretty like yeah, it looks good on her honestly. Like I I I thought this looked good on Shenda, but this also looks really really darn good on her as well. Yeah, I want to see like more of the details around here. <laughs> Obviously, the the hip window is still there. Oh well, I guess I guess it's kind of gone because of her like a uh, little pants to the hair or whatever. But goddamn, you get to see a lot more of her thigh now that now that the stockings are gone. Also, yeah, her vision, yeah, her vision was originally yeah on her hair, right? And then it's like moved here now. Interesting. Oh yeah, and I like the little hair piece that's in the Shenha's hair. That that's also really really pretty looking. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these skins just so you guys don't have to. Do you? Frost flower dew Think obtained. I look good in this outfit. Yes, I do. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and just put it on right away. And yeah, maybe this will, maybe this will uh, increase this our chances. Material desire. Yeah, maybe, maybe getting these skins will like increase our chances of getting uh, a Sienyan on the 50-50. Who knows? <laughs> but here's hoping, right? But yeah, these these outfits look really, really good. I might go back to being a Ganymede because of this. Honestly, <laughs> I kind of wish they like gave Ganyu like a spear and a sword, like uh, like they did in uh, Sienyan's demo. But alrighty, folks. I think it's about night time. We began summoning for yeah, for Sienyun and Gaming. So yes, I think this is our what our team is gonna be for uh, summoning for the both of them. We're gonna leave these two spots empty for Gaming and Sienyun respectively, and hoping they both come home. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is not retainer's boat. Yeah, we will summon here in that case for her since this is her, this is her home and all. Okay, but also, before we begin summoning for Sienyun and Gaming, I do want to try running them both in the uh, test run before we, uh, yeah, before we, uh, get pulling for them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, test out, um, yeah, let, let's test out Gaming first, just to see what he's all about. Alright, Gaming will pounce forth with his element skill upon hitting a target. He will leap high to the air. Plunging attacks performed in the state will be converted into uh, plunging attacks. Charm Cloud Strider dealing AoE pyre damage. Ooh. Okay, so he... He's a plunge attack DPS. Okay. Yeah, look at him. Look at his design. It's it's honestly really, really cool looking. Oh, and he has the uh, BP uh, uh, Claymore. Congratulations. Ah, okay. So when that happens, I do a plunging attack immediately afterwards. Ah, okay. And then, uh, yep. <laughs> his his uh, charge attack is still spin the wind like most other Claymore users. Okay, yeah, let's go test him out then. Okay, so I run into them first, and then plunge back on them. Oh, 35k? Okay. That's not bad, actually. And yeah, there's a, there's a Mansai, his summon. Oh, so, okay, so essentially, it allows you to spam his freaking skill. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, yeah, he seems like a fun DPS. Up to it, Mansai. Up to it, Manzai. I also like his voice. Yeah, he's uh, he's just the same voice actor as a uh, Kalos from Honkai Star Rail, right? Like, yeah, the male MC. Oh yeah, this this playstyle's fun. 
Many happy returns. Okay, then I use this. Plunge. Then plunge again. Then you plunge again. And again. So <laughs> he's kinda like Pyro Shao in that in that aspect. Okay, yeah, what the hell? Yeah, Gaming is super fun. Oh yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to build him, honestly. He seems like a super, super fun DPS. Holy shit. Okay, uh, oh yeah, they also added this feature where you can like, yeah, uh, go in between trial stages, which is pretty good, I gotta say. Okay, but next up is, uh, yeah, the main star of the show, Xianyun. Which I did pre-farm for her, so we will be able to build her as soon as we get her. Yeah, look at her design, dude. I like that, yeah, her, her little, like, coattails there, or whatever those are, like, kind of like a, yeah, bird wings. Got that, like, the little, like, like, uh, the yeah, talons. And also like the feather on top of her head. She has just a really, really sick design. Oh yeah, look at those cool animations. So if I'm if I'm right, you can use her skill three times to like, yeah, jump into the air. And then yeah, you get the bird plunging attack. Also, I noticed Gaming is here as well in her trial. Alright, but uh done with her skills, so let's go ahead and test her. Bam! Boom! Okay. That's fun. The sky. Okay, and yeah, that's her burst. Bam! Okay, so yeah, pretty much turns anybody into like, yeah, a bunch of DPS. I wonder how, like, yeah, how many characters would that be useful for? Because yeah, I've seen people say it'd be good for D Luke, because D Luke, um. Like, yeah, has a high damage plunging multiplier. I would also say it, it might be good with, um. Razor or some other characters that have like high plunge multipliers. I think somebody said it's like it would be good for Ito. Not sure if, if that's uh, gonna be necessarily necessarily good for him, but we 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 can try. We can try uh, Sienyun with like various characters to see what works. But alrighty, that's uh, Sienyun's character uh, trial done. So now, let's get up to the main event. <laughs> what y'all came to this livestream for. Okay, so I don't think I'll be going for any weapons. Yeah, I think I'll just be going for Sienyun herself. And also hoping to get some Gaming uh, and her and his constellations. And hopefully some Farazan constellations too along the way. Because, what, like my Farazan's at, um... Yeah, okay, my Farazan is at C1. So hopefully we get some good uh, Gamings. We get some good uh, Farazans, and hopefully we also get, yes, yeah, Sienyun at the very end. But okay, I think of all that, let us begin the summons for Sienyun. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna be sitting here in Cloud Retainer's abode, and hopefully that will increase our chances of getting him. Okay, so our pity as of right now is at 50 as of right now, and the previous 5 star poll is uh, Navia. Yeah, if I go all the way back to like number 10, yep, Navia, and page 10 times 5, that's 50. And we're in 50 50 as well, so. There's a chance we may not get Sienyun, but hopefully, after buying the Ganyu and Chen outfits, that should, uh, that should hopefully appease, uh, Cloud Retainer to come home. Who knows? But alrighty, uh, yeah, but even if we lose 50-50, I should have enough primos to guarantee for it anyways, but yeah. Fingers crossed, fi oh, yeah, crossing both my fingers, hopefully we can be able to get both, yeah, Cloud Retainer, uh, Gaming, and some Farzan and Constellations along the way. And yeah, hopefully there's no mishaps in this uh, summoning session. But here we go. First summon. Uh, yeah, going from 50 pity to 60 pity. All right, early. Early Sienyun, come home. Okay, <laughs> no Sienyun just yet. But yeah, let's see if we can get a Gaming. Yeah, can we get a our very first Gaming? Hey, okay, hey, there we go. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the oh. communications office. So all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll oh. only take me a minute. Then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, oh shoot! And if you ever want to book a let me date, speak. Me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troops called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. <laughs> okay, that was a really, really long introduction, but okay. So it seems like they play voice lines now whenever you get the character for the first time. At, at least I think so. Cause yeah, that that's never happened before, has it? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, this is my first time pulling Gaming, and he just, like, who <laughs> went off on a whole tangent, like, introducing himself. That's cool, then. If they, yeah, if they, yeah, do play their voice lines after you get them. But already, hey, there we go, our very first Gaming. Nice. Okay, so. 
Okay, so no more gummings, but hey, at least we got our very first one. Hey, there he is. I honestly can't wait to build him, honestly. Because, yeah, judging from the trial, he, he, he seems super, super fun to play. But alrighty, uh... We are not done with our summons just yet, obviously, because uh, we still have our main star, Sienyan, who is still yet to come home. And of course, I do, hopefully, I do want to try and get some Gaming or Fardus and Constellations on the way as well, but yeah. Okay, so this is our second 10 pull. Uh, 60 Pity we're at right now, right? Yeah, 60 Pity. 60 Pity, and this will go to 70 Pity. Uh, yeah, can we get uh, Sienyan early? Let's go! I right, cross my fingers here. Okay, another four star. We're not there just yet. Can we get another Gaming though? I would like Gaming constellations or Far Suns. I I'll take whatever. I don't want Noel constellations though. I already have her C6. <laughs> I don't want Noel constellations. I'm sorry. Oh well. Please don't be the only four star here. Ah, damn it. Oh well. <laughs> Unlucky for a second ten ball, unfortunately. Okay, but here's hoping uh, we do get Sienian right here. Okay, so just gonna go to the soft pity because we're at 70 pity right now. This will take us to 80 pity. Yeah, really, really want to win 50 50 here. I hope. I, I really do hope we win 50 50. <laughs> okay, but here we go 70 pity to 80 pity. Sienian! Come home, Bert Mommy. There's five star. Okay. Whew, okay. Uh, this is always like the most stressful part about these summoning videos. Okay. Okay, this is 71. 72. 73. Four star weapon. Screw you. S uh, 74. 75. God damn it. Ah. Uh... Damn it! Oh well, I guess buying the outfits didn't uh, win us 50-50 after all. Damn it though. Hey, well, speaking of D look, I guess we get that's my I think that's my C1 D look. Yeah, I don't think I, I, I've ever pulled a C1 D look before, so I guess I'm not too mad about that. Yeah, I'll just have to check if D looks constellations are any good. But god damn it! Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to go for the guaranteed in that case. Oh well. Ah, uh, 76. Well, oh, no, we'll, we'll, re we'll reset now. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're at five pity now. Damn it. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Okay, yeah, let me check out D look. Um, what does the C1 do? D look deals 50% more, 15% more damage to your ho whose opponents or two opponents whose HP is above 50%. Yeah, that's not bad. Not a bad constellation, I guess. But still, I would have preferred to get Sienyan. Well, we lost our 50-50, folks. Unfortunately. So now it comes down to, yeah, us building our way up to, uh... Yeah, building up our way to get Sienyan once again. Oh, well. Yeah, I should have enough to guarantee for her, but... Uh, the next 5-star is gonna probably have to, uh... <laughs> to wait for quite a bit. Yeah, thank God there's no new five stars in a uh, four point five. Other than, yeah, other than uh, Giorgio, of course. Even then, even then, I'm pretty sure. I'm very sure Giorgio is a four star. At least, at least I hope so. Otherwise, my primos are just gonna be ruined. But all right, we're back down to zero. Well, five now. And yeah, we gotta work our way back up to uh, hopefully get Sienyan. But here we go. <laughs> Can we get Sienyan early though? <laughs> Can we get her early? And also some Gaming and Fars and constellations. All right, five pity going to 15 pity. Let's go. Okay, no early five star, unfortunately. Can we get Gombing though? Gombing or Farzan, I'll take either. Yeah, okay, okay. Good, good, okay. That's our C1 Gombing, right? Yeah, C1, nice. Any other four stars you brought to your Gombing? Uh, Diona, what the fuck? Oh, oh. <laughs> You're not even on this banner, <laughs> what the hell? Are you? No Noel, what the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just bring in the whole party, why don't you? Thanks for the stardust, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so now we're gonna... We're now 15 pity. It's gonna go from... Yeah, 15 to... Uh, 25. Early Sienyan, come on. Early. Ah, no early. No early for us, unfortunately. 
Another Gaming? Another... Or a Farzan, maybe? We haven't seen in, uh, one Farzan yet so far. Uh, ah, goddammit, Lion's Roar. <laughs> really hate it when the weapons come in the character banner. Oh, well. It is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so now we're at 25, was it? 25 to 35. Again. Let's go. Early. Ah, t t and, okay, maybe I should stop saying early, because uh, cause otherwise I might, like, jinx myself. Uh, Gaming or Farzan, maybe? Come on. No, well, come on! Stop! I love you, girl, but you're C6 already! Go away! Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's giving me just all the Noels right now. How many Noels have I gotten so far? Three? Like, I got three Noels, two weapons, and a Diona out of nowhere? God, okay. Uh, what are we at now? 35? 35, yeah, 35 is where we're at. Okay, 35 to 45. Getting halfway to us. To our soft pity. Okay. Our four star. Gaming or Farzan, please. Or maybe I should just stop saying that. Maybe I should just stop saying it just so they I don't jinx myself. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just see. Oh, for fucking Fucking Rain Slasher. God it's always the goddamn weapons. Yeah, see see what I mean? Yeah, maybe I should stop saying their names just so they do come home. Uh, no, well, not you again. Come on. <laughs> Let the other four stars into my party. God damn it. For fuck's sake, I pulled four fucking Noels and zero Farazans and only two Gaming so far. Uh, okay, but I guess we'll press on four then. Okay, I'm not going to say their names from now on. I'm just going to hope they come into the party. Uh, This is what I, I lost count. Oh, we're at 45, right? 45 pity? Yeah, 45 pity, yeah. So this will be going to 55 pity. Inching ever so closely to soft pity. Let's just... Yeah, let's hope we don't have to go all the way to hard pity. For this one, at the very least. Alrighty, 55 pity, let's go. Okay. Four stars. Can you, can you give me the four stars I want? Okay, there we go. That's good. C2 gaming. Nice, nice. Can I, uh, like, get one Farazan, please? One? A singular one? Huh? Please? No? Oh, okay, okay another Gaming. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll take another Gaming. That's uh, our C3 Gaming, right? Yeah, C3. I'm not complaining. I would've uh, liked Farazan now, but hey. Gaming seems fun to build anyway, so I'm glad I'm getting Gaming Constellations. Okay, so these are, uh, yeah, we're 55 pity right now. Okay, gonna go from 55 to 65. Inching ever so closely to soft pity. I probably said that like five times already at this point, but I'm like a broken record, I swear to God. But yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, okay. Can we, can we get one Farazan though? Because, yeah, I, I really, I, I'm also pulling on this banner for Farazan Constellations. Because I do, because my Wander does need them. Uh, three star, three star, three star. Come on. Hey, okay, there we go. At the very, very end. Okay, that's our C2 Farazan. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. One Farazan. <laughs> Four more to go before I C6 her. Okay, but uh, I think, yeah, we're inching about to soft pity now. Oh, God, yeah, my primos just went under 10k. <laughs> that's a horrifying sight to see. But alrighty. Uh, yeah, this is going from 65 pity to 75 pity. We're about to touch soft pity. Let's hope we get Sienyun here. And yeah, ho hopefully we don't have to like resort to hard pity <laughs> in order to get her. Alrighty, 65 to 75. Let's go. Come on, make this a final 10 pull. Nope, okay, it's not the final 10 pull. Never mind. Well, I guess we are diving into hard pity then. Ah, <sighs> well. I guess uh, I'll be saving up for for a good while before the next five star. For fuck's sake, not now, Lion's Roar. Stop it with the goddamn weapons, please. Oh, thank. Okay, fine, <laughs> fine. Give me a sword and a Farazan. Okay, I'll, I'll at least take that. Okay, that's what. Yeah, C three Farazan now. Can I get another four star maybe? Eh. Okay, so at least we got a Farazan for that one.
I'll, I'll at least take that. I'll at least take a Farzan from, from that poll. But here we go. Uh, CNN should come home unless I have to go like 85 and beyond. But yeah, here's hoping we get her and uh, and also, yeah, Gaming and maybe a Farzan too. And who knows, maybe maybe for the very first time we may be able to get like two five stars in a single tent pull for Genshin. Can can that happen for the very first time for me, please? Actually, no, if, if you ask for it, they're never going to give it to you. So I'm just going to say, yeah, no, do not give me two five stars. Huh, you got to jinx them. Yeah, do not give me two five stars right here. All right, but there's a five star. There we go. Sienyun. A cursory change in one's appearance and you barely recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let one dispel any doubt. One is in all things unconstrained and unabashed, free to live as one pleases, go where one desires, <laughs> and journey with whomsoever. Oh god, she's going to ramble on for quite a while. Prepare your ears. Nevertheless, um, <laughs> in light of one's considerable renown, please call me Xian Yun. In Xian Yun, there she is. Okay, so yeah, we had to resort all the way to soft pity to get her. So yeah, that's what that was what the 76 summon that we got her. Okay, so nice. <laughs> At least we finally got her in the very end. But <laughs> yeah, my primo gem savings are gonna definitely tank from this. Uh, did you bring Gaming or Prozon with you by any chance? Huh? 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 For, for fuck's sake. No, I'm not going to give you that catalyst. Actually, no, the Iper Sapphire could be pretty good on her because it scales off attack, right? I, I guess it could be good on her in that case. But alrighty, there we go. That will be the end of it for, yeah, our Sien Yun summons. You know what, I'll just make it one more tenpo just to put out some ten pity. Because why not? <laughs> just prepare for like my next summoning session, but there we go. It also like a hundred summons, right? Yeah, 100 summons to get Sienna, but hey, at the very least, we finally got her. Oh yeah, I can't wait to build them. I absolutely cannot wait to build them. Okay, and we also got uh, Gaming to C3, which is nice. And then we also got Dila to C1, unfortunately. And uh, where is she? There we go. And then we also got Fires on to C3 as well, so... Yeah, not bad. Not not a bad summoning session, I would say. It could have gone better. Definitely could have gone better, but I'd say this is a pretty yeah, successful summoning session overall.